Well done, give yourself a pat on the back for making it that far. Uh, I hope that demo there gave you some idea of uh, my goal and uh, what I was trying to achieve there. So yes, uh, if you're into this kind of nerdy stuff, uh, DIY synths and modular sequencing, then you'll probably be aware that we need to um, expand a boring eight-step sequence a little. And uh, to do that, we can uh, at least transpose uh, the notes. And um, using another sequencer, combining uh, the two uh, control voltages, we can transpose a sequence. And uh, this is how I've achieved it, by using a 4017 uh, decade counter. But just using uh, three steps, that's pretty much all I had space for. Um, if you're transposing stuff, then um, I've seen the Penta sequencer, uh, five steps, switchable, two, three as well. So you don't really need any more than that. And I've also utilised um, a uh, the code for uh, a module that's on the market, Grains by Ginkgo Synth. Um, now I haven't had much uh, success with uh, any of the standard code for that, but someone has uploaded a clock divider and multiplier sketch for the Arduino and uh, I've built I think three um, clock modules so uh, even um, if, you, if you look in the, uh, the the links in the description there then you can also just build a clock divider and multiplier now a clock multiplier is particularly hard to do uh, in hardware uh, so it's quite an achievement um, to uh, have this in a you know, a cheap Arduino. Okay, I'm rambling. Let's cut to the chase. Um, we have the Nano there on the right. That does the duties for the clock divide and multiply. And it's got two 10K potentiometers uh, for those functions. If you look at the um, code, uh, which I've linked to, then uh, you'll see that there's usually a third potentiometer to um, select different uh, to select, let's have a think, uh, even cl clock and uh, odd clock divisions. Uh, I've left that out. Uh, as far as I can make out, you, uh, we'll just leave that out and everything will work fine and I'll just do even clock divisions. On the left is the 4017 now, you'll have to go online just to double check how that's configured with the three potentiometers on the left. If you don't understand it, it's a pretty standard uh, Baby 8 uh, step sequencer uh, schematic and implementation of that. If you're confused, then look online, use your noggin, do a bit of research and uh, you'll be able to work that out. But basically uh, we've got a variable clock step sequencer there with CVLs um, and we can sum those with a main sequencer and feed that into a quantizer. Now how do I add my control voltages together? I hear you ask. Well, I've done that work for you and here is a little sub board with two ins and one out and you can feed that into your quantizer. Now it doesn't need to be a precision adder of voltages because we're going to put them into the quantizer anyway. And if you want to have two of these then I've also done this layout I think this is the one I've used for my quantizer so that will sum your two voltages together so yeah, I think that's it head over to the github page uh, to get the code for the Arduino Nano and build yourself some uh, clock dividers and multipliers and uh, you know use it with this build I've done as well with the 4017 step sequencer and see 
if you can bring some of your sequences uh, to life, perhaps a little, or um, at least uh, relieve the tedium of uh, the same old loop going round. Um, good luck with the build, ladies and gentlemen, and perhaps I'll see you next time.